and a medical doctor, Dr. George Ugu, joins me to discuss testing for Nigerians and more on the coronavirus. Good to have you join us, um, Dr. George, this hour. Now, let's look at the fact that just in the U.S. alone, we're hearing that it costs between um, 8000 to about $80,000 to treat um, a COVID-19 patient. Can you give us a picture of, of that in Nigeria? Uh, thank you for the questions. Yeah, um, in Nigeria, really, I think the testing um, is free of charge, um, as far as I'm aware. Um, and going to the NC, Nigerian Center for Disease Control, um, I think they follow the criteria, the WHO criteria for testing. And um, basically, that's free. Um, I think the thing is, in the US, the healthcare is um, mostly private and, and sort of for profit. And that's why they had um, the issue with the cost. Um, so talking about Nigeria, um, the tests basically follow um, criteria that are set in place. So basically, people are tested um, when they absolutely need it. Um, I think that's also um, sort of borrowing from the um, criteria which is used here in the UK. Um, so basically, patients that are tested are those who require admissions and presenting to hospital with um, symptoms that are in keeping with COVID-19. So they come in with chest infections, um, with fever, um, with um, shortness of breath, um, chest pain, and so when they've come with those symptoms and 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 so then they and they require admission, then they have to be tested um, in order to um, define management plans. Uh, for patients who do not need to be admitted, um, they are asked to go and separate. And, and the reason for this is that really having a positive for most people will not change the management plan because the majority of people, I think over 90%, would actually not present with symptoms and they would, they would most likely have mild symptoms. So they're asked to stay, remain at home, self-isolate, and, and of course, physical distancing is very important, um, carrying out all the um, public health um, um, instructions we've been given, hand washing with soap and water and coughing into your elbows and using tissue and dump, um, disposing them appropriately. And so all this measure really helps to prevent the transmission of the virus while you're at home. All right, please allow um, me, allow me butt in here. Um, so okay. we, we know that testing is a big issue in places like the US and here we still have limited testing capacity, but another big issue is the human capacity within the medical field. And we're seeing that um, the, the Nigerian government has decided to invite Chinese doctors to mm -hmm. Nigeria against the opinion of the enemy and, and some lawmakers. I just wanted to get your thoughts on that issue. Well, I've been speaking with a couple of back in Nigeria. And um, the truth is, most of them aren't very happy with the development. And the thing is, if the government is able to provide support for the for the Nigerian doctors that are there, who actually need this um, equipment, who need this uh, facility in order to be able to care for the Nigerian patient. And then, and so when you're having additional help coming in, it wouldn't be a problem. But the thing is, most of them are not getting the, the equipment they need to safely work um, in the hospital environment and also to care for the patient. So it's sort of frustrating for them to now have to know that the government is paying people to come in into the country, spending the money they should normally spend on the Nigerian doctors and patients. And then so it's, I think that's a major issue there, not having that for yourself and then you're getting, spending a lot of money getting other people to come do things that you're not actually doing for your own people. So I think that's where the frustration is coming in really. All right, Dr. George Agu, many thanks for your thoughts on this issue.